The following clip may contain scenes or storylines not suitable for children. Some of these scenes or storylines may be unsuitable for other viewers as well. And the clip may contain strong violence or inappropriate language to some viewers. This clip may also contain strobe lighting effects. Wow, wow, wow! We're just waiting for him to come out now! The following contest is going for one fall, and it is for the WES Championship. Introducing first, the challenger, the COO of WES, Graham Drews. He's a man with a sword. He is Graham Drews. The COO and the ladies' man. <laughs> and introducing the opponent. He is the current WES champion. Brock Landers! Brock Landers, the current champion, the one who's going to be defending his WES championship. And here's Brock. He is the current WES champion. Probably to be an Amy, isn't it, huh? Okay. There we go. Look at that. Ladies man all the way. Well, here he is. Where the ladies I man. Stay hot. This is a WES championship match. As we're coming to the end of Battleground soon. We're approaching close to the end now. And here we go. That's it, Mark Field. We do plus plan the one and stop working. Right now we're just waiting for the um the signal. This is the WES. Yeah 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 yeah. And WES championship is on the line for this match. Come on. Bring the board down. 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 Calm 
Blimey! Finally, it's sunshine. <laughs> Finally, is it me or what? Man, I better turn on the girls. There we go. Ah! Samrin Brock into the corner. There's Graham. The WS Championship is on the line, so you've got to be prepared to do whatever it takes in this match. Uh, I think this is going to be an awesome match at the moment because the championship is on the line. Wait a second, caught. Yeah, well, it's Brock. Oh! Power! Power by Brock! Brock! Brock taking advantage at the moment. Nice leg drop. <laughs> Going to the edge there. Hit with the ladder. Oh my god, he's, he's setting the ladder up, up against the ring here. This is going to get really ugly. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's, he's mental. Do you think he's going to be able to do that? I don't know if it's meant to be a pilot. Look what's happening here. Yep. Guys. Oh. <laughs> Hammering the ladder into Graham, the COO. Is it time for bed? <laughs> <laughs> this is what Brock does. He destroys people. <laughs> Brock tried to end the Undertaker's streak at WrestleMania but failed. We failed to end the streak as Undertaker is now 22 and 0. Looking to be 23 and 0 next year. This talk about Undertaker brings me to the main event. The last and final match is Undertaker versus Demon. And the winner, who knows? It's going to be a tough one. Because what you got is demon. Oh, oh. ouch! That ladder is certainly not light. That is actually proper um, steel ladder, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what do you think about the Undertaker? What do you think of him? Uh, what I can say about the Undertaker so far, um, it seems odd that he has a diva as his um, elect, uh, his what? his ministry lady of darkness. I mean, this just seems odd to have that kind of reaction. I mean, what kind of guy in, lives in a dead man world has a diva? Maybe he uh, just wanted to go, oh, freaky! Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I know the story behind this. Let me see if I can get this one right. Uh, and put, put, put me right if I'm wrong here, Lauren Lee. But let me um, explain this situation here, Lauren. Um, originally, um, Undertaker... Uh, was at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony mm. earlier this year and um, apparently 
during his induction to the Hall of Fame, he came across what the two divas that were introduced in this Hall of Fame. Um, the whole the whole situation behind this was um, the two divas were, of course, Alexis Nightmare and um, and as you know, is Trinity right now. And um, then two divas um, inducted. Um, Undertaker and called him out and uh, Undertaker did a speech and it was a Lexus Nightmare Can I just point out it was a Lexus Nightmare definitely a Lexus, a Lexus Nightmare that actually said that she can tell him the secret behind Mercs and yeah. and um, There was a catch though um, Undertaker has to show Alexis the bikes in order for Alexis Nightmare to give the secret. So what does he park instead of a bike? <laughs> <laughs> and and then it all started from there. And then suddenly, um, the week after, or a couple of weeks after, I think it was, um, what, um, Undertaker Undertaker uh, introduced Alexis Nightmare as the Lady of Darkness that we know her for now. Wow, that is some change. I wonder what my heart is up to. to. Yeah, I wonder. Mm. I mean, it's ha it seems funny because um, Undertaker is an expert in bikes and if you wanted to show Alexis Nightmare the bikes in order to get a secret about Mux. Um, did he, what, answer me this question Lauren Lee. Yeah. Um, did he actually know the secret in the end? Did she tell him the secret about yeah. Mux? Yeah, and, he, and in, in the third he showed her more than just bikes from what I heard. <laughs> oh, I bet it was. <laughs> I bet it was a quick quickie in the back room at the same time. Um, more like, a, you know this little house in Death Valley, right? Oh, right, yeah. She, he, she apparently stayed there overnight. I've never seen her since, until this recently, coming back. But what the hell was it? Right, now let me tell you a story behind Brock. Brock entered the WES, and then Brock, um, was winning so many matches in WES that um, Brock then decided that he would quit the WES if WES didn't give him a title shot. Am I correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then from that from that part onwards, um, because he, he threatened to quit, um, the owner at, or the COO gave Brock what he wanted. They gave him a championship shot, and then Brock became the current. WES champion. And Paul Freeman, which I don't think is here at the moment, says, he kept saying, the Brocklanders conquered the WES champion. Oh, please, please don't remind me about that. That is oh. so annoying. It's not as annoying as um, what Psycho Kid, uh, a Psycho Kid is. Uh, okay, here's my question to you, Lloyd. How do you think Psycho Kid did? Oh! Ah. Ouch! Straight for a ladder. What? With a table. What about uh, how do you think uh, Psycho Kid and, and, and Strange Kid, considering they both don't like each other, how do you think they did in that present match? Hmm. I think they did good. Knowing the fact that they don't like each other, but they the had to tag up. the is, is they both keep stealing each other's tags. They didn't even have one proper tag at all. Yeah. Weird. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay. And the snake. Let's continue, huh? The match oh. continues, this is a no disqualifications, no count no. out, and this is oh, the only way to win, is to make your opponent either tap out or pin him. What, what about that Python and Snake thing? Yeah, I know. That, uh, guess what? Python has so finally got his snake back. Oh, fine. And all you get from Joel, uh, well, well, sorry, not, yeah, yeah, Joel Dashin. All Joel Dashin says is, will you shut up about the freaking snake? That was funny. Are you a friend of the owners? Um, I'm not too fond of the owner, to be honest, but um, I, I, there is one person I do respect, and that's Reckless Homicide. Because Reckless Homicide d does put everything on the line every time he's in that ring. He's far better than Strange Kid. But there's a problem. You know what um, Reckless Homicide did to my sister, didn't you? What did he do? He let her uh, get beaten up by the ta tag team known as the... the, the, the the tag team known as the sword, the, the shield, I get confused. Uh, and then what happened was, it's strange to save the day in the end, remember back in the day? Yeah. And then, um, now there's a, uh, now there's a sword. Leg drop. Leg drop from Graham. Oh, 
the server and he actually came he was long to say can you also stop the game at the same time he's in this match do they call that um, something to begin with W? Uh, yeah, I think she's a player oh ok does that mean that she's opened out to all wrestlers? Maybe you even might get a chance, Michael Paul. Hey, I'm, excuse me, I'm fully married, thanks. <laughs> I'm happily married. Michael Paul, you married Big Mama. Oi, sharp ref. Well, what's with that Big Mama? Who is this Big Mama? Oh, Big Mama. Well, basically, um, I, I heard that that's Joel Dashing's mother, according to what Stage Kid said. Why well, I heard that. <laughs> Joel Dashing is rapping right now. <laughs> Him. Yeah, because uh, that's what um, that's what a strange kid said to Joel in the backstage scene uh, when they were just being themselves. He said, "Oh, you mean your mama?" Oh. Yeah.